Hello everyone and here is a short video on how to access Zoom and how to schedule a meeting. First of all go to Google and in the search bar type in Zoom and hit the enter key. And The very first hit will be zoom.us and Zoom video conferencing. Click here. Now you can sign up for free which is what you will do and when you sign up with your school account, you will get um, access to more than 40 minutes for each class. For myself, I'm going to um, click on here and I'm going to simply log in because I'm already logged in, uh, so I don't need to sign up. Okay. Once you're in, you'll see your profile. Mine is here and the sign in email that you used is here your capacity of the meeting, language, date and time, etc. A nice feature is that you can integrate um, with Outlook and I like this feature because it comes to remind me then um, on my diary when the meeting is going to take place. On the left hand side here you've got some live training or video tutorials if you wanted to go into it a little bit more. But for now all you need to know to set up a meeting is you click on meetings and you click on schedule a new meeting. You can give the meeting a title. This is useful. I might call it um, tell team meeting. Here's your time, your date and time, the duration of the meeting. It's not a recurring meeting, so I don't need to tick that. You can put a password to the meeting as well. Amongst your students, I wouldn't think that this is necessary, but if you were meeting other people that you didn't that you wanted to make sure it was a closed meeting, you might put a password here. Certainly activate the video because it's useful to be able to see everybody who is attending the meeting. You can also enable your students to join before you do. This is sometimes useful because if they want to test out the software, then that enables them to do so and to be ready for the meeting when you go when you come to start. Click Save. I can add it to my, my Outlook at this point. Here we go. And I can start this meeting. This meeting is scheduled for now, so I can just click Start to show you the interface. You will get lots of permissions uh, requested. Just click Open Zoom. Sometimes some of these permissions come in the background. Just keep an eye out for that. And I'm going to join with Computer Audio. And here I am, using computer audio and talking to you. Now there's some very useful features on this. For example, at the top here, when you have more participants, you are unable to see people in gallery view or, big, or speaker view. Speaker view allows the person to be seen right in the middle at the beginning. Gallery view enables little tiles of all the speakers. This is very useful if you have many, um, many people arriving. So you can share the screen here as well. If I wanted to share the screen, I might want to share my uh, whiteboard or maybe some a document I have. Um, anything that you have on, on your um, PC from, from Google, from your email, from Teams that you would want to show. The whiteboard feature is, is very good. You click on that and you can start using the whiteboard in the same way as you would uh, the normal screen. So. I'm not going to bother with that, so I'm going to come back out, click on the X there. There's a chat feature, which if I click here, it enables me to send a message to everyone. Um, and hit the enter button and it will be posted. Equally, if there were more people at the meeting, I could choose if I wanted to send a message to anybody. It's possible to uh, record these meetings. Um, you would certainly want to get the permission of those uh, attendees before you did that. And another feature as well is the reactions. I rather like this feature. If something is good, why not let the speaker know? Give them a thumbs up. So to invite participants to the meeting then, you simply click invite and now you can click as many contacts, contacts as you have here. All of these are all my, my Outlook contacts and I can just click any of them that I want to to invite them to the meeting. Let me invite um, Let's see if I can invite Aoife. There's Aoife there. I invite her. 
Now, she's been invited, and at some point maybe she will attend. That's it for now. I'm going to end the meeting there because you've got plenty to be working with. Experiment yourself and see how you get on, and get back to me if you have any difficulties.